trash gun. But Papa said he heard them when he was coming home the other night. Your father had too much of the Sayis beer. Drank it all up. <laughs> he just heard fishermen on the river. Voices carry on the water. Uh, they will attack on sight here. This is how a dream dies. I could have built something to last an age. And Gupa could have sung stories of your accomplishments. There are things I regret! We all labor for higher powers! We are all enthralled to greater forces! There is no escape. I am but one in the Order of Ancients! This victory will bring you no peace! It is not peace that I seek. It is not for my soul that I walk this path. The Order of Ancients will remember me as the bringer of waters and a builder of cities! Oh, the desert will blow in. And scatter the dream of Metropolis like dust. Take care of him. Try to make him understand if you can. You have brought blood and death to my house. You are blind. But now you must open your eyes. Your husband was a scarab. He did this. Your father was tortured and scarred by this man. As were so many others. No. It is up to you to raise your boy into the light out of the blood and shadows of his father's legacy. I'm sorry, my son. Good news, Leila. IS DNA has finished sequencing. You can sync with their memories now. They're pretty fragmented, but you should be able to dip in for a little while. I walk on your water. Okay. Weird. Ooh. <laughs> Just like the Battle of Salamis, Captain. I have you trapped. <laughs> Here comes Themistocles. And that is the game. Oh! Ramodo! Foxy, 
us why are we delivering all this treasure? We could retire to Lesbos with this amount of gold. <laughs> what say you, desert rat? If that chest doesn't make it to Pompeii, this ship won't either. We crawl through Hades to deliver it if we have to. Fair enough. Back to work, you slack black horse! Temestis! My trusted shield boy, get to it, huh? We've been hired to bribe Pompey, to save a queen, and to win a kingdom. <laughs> the usual fare for us mercenaries, huh? Your third voyage? And already you barred with the command crew. <laughs> I enjoy watching Spittle get caught in your beard, Foxidas. Let's not be thrown into the sea. That's no death for such a hero as me. A real hero could swim to save himself. I see them. I'll not be sucked to a scupper for nothing. Now you're just trying to impress me. Pick up the pace. Up tempo. Sails on the horizon! There! Those colors are not from Rome. What mess has this boxy queen dragged us into? Ptolemy's ships. Sent by the order of ancients, no doubt. What business do they have with Pompey? Pompey's armies will give Cleopatra the throne. They mean to prevent the alliance before it happens. We must hurry. Poseidon's peace. The air is already choked with smoke. The seas will steam near the volcano. We should keep our distance if we don't want to burn. Is that Methana? She hasn't burst for hundreds of years. Wouldn't surprise me. Ready ourselves! Let's show these traitors they trust the wrong pharaoh! Ready to fire! Arena of fire! Order the shields! Off the temple! Up the pace, brothers! Fire! Speed more speed! Come! They got us! Arrows incoming! Fire! Sign of your faithless Roman. 
Be careful with your jibes, Captain. Pompey is a needed ally, and no mean general. We didn't sail all this way just to offend him with insults. I am who I am. I do not change for kings or queens. I left my wife and kids behind for the same reason. No one sail accepts me. I accept you. We accept you. Alala! These hundred nauta is enough acceptance for me. It's hard to say goodbye to those who don't accept us. But he's also the only way. Is it? Pompey will be at the appointed place off Terra's coast. Sail on. Pick up the pen. What speed, Zeno? There, I see him. Bombay sails north. Don't rush. There may be patrols ahead. Are you ordering me away from a fight? Lady, shit! Of course not. But I am not keen to die protecting a Roman, especially one who can afford his own protection. You know. Fire bombs ready! Call for them when we pull near! Civil war in Egypt and a mercenary trireme comes to my aid. In the midst of war with Caesar, I find it odd. Who in Hades are you? Well, we could have let you die. Pompeius Magnus. Greetings and friendship from Queen Cleopatra. Cleopatra offers gold to win my favor once I've won Rome. <laughs> Is that what friendship means to your queen? Whose face graces that coin? Do Roman women receive the same honor? An alliance with Cleopatra is a union of true power. She wants more than an ally. She seeks a king. Hmm. A valuable friendship indeed. Hmm. 
Agreed. My fleet will soon be ready for Egypt. Have you heard the story of courageous Captain Foxidas? The magnificent Greek mercenary who single-handedly defeated the despised Gabiniani in epic battle on the high seas? Then gather around and I will amaze you with the legend of Foxidas and the goddess of Siwa. Listen closely and you will hear how alone on the wide naked Mediterranean Sea the two fearless titans sent no less than 60 Gabiniani ships to the bottom of the ocean. You said goddess of Siwa. What was her name? Which battle are you talking about? You have not heard. Oh, my friend, then you are in for a treat. Let me tell you how it happened. Legend has it, the noble Greek captain and the Egyptian goddess sailed from Alexandria's Golden Coast in search of the feared Gabiniani fleet. With only their sturdy trireme and loyal crew against the Gabiniani's fabled warships. Floating mountains, carrying 10,000 men, bristling with oars and fire. Where are all these mongrel Gabiniani? My informant assured me they would pass here. I'll throttle his scrawny neck if he told me wrong. Who are the Gabiniani? Where do they come from? Exiles of Rome who took Egypt as their home. Traitorous rats, everyone. With the discipline of Rome, with the ruthlessness of Ptolemy. Worthy opponents for the likes of us. Well, we have to stop them before they can join Ptolemy's fleet. We'll find them, Aya. And send them to ruin. Not one of this salt soaked hull rat. There! Is that the hull fleet? Poseidon's peace, no, woman. That's only part of their full strength. The lesser part, by the looks. Trireme's only. There's no sign of their damned octory. This works in our favor. We can work them down, ship by ship. Strike us and ready your boys. We attack! Give no quarter, men! These devils will give us none! We have an octary! How will we face it? Show no fear, Damascus! They've not met our kind before! Their bloated bars will save them! Off the pace, brothers! Adults, look out! Off tempo! Aiming!
Shadow. Warships. Pompey himself would not claim so many. You must not doubt me. I was told it by someone who saw it happen. Captain, we bested them. The Gabignani are finished. Don't be hasty, boy. My spies gave me a greater number than that. They must have split their fleet. We should head east. Straight into the jaws of the crocodile, if your spies tell the truth. Ha <laughs> ha What of it? I've wrestled more fierce than beasts, and none were a match for our captain! <laughs> your bravado will be your undoing, captain, and ours. Up the tempo! As if rising from the very depths of the underworld, a second bristling wall of hulls appeared. This time, an unbelievable 40 Gabiniani death ships faced our lone heroes. Then another ship rose behind the fleet, the size of which has never been seen before or since. 10,000 warriors crowded its massive decks, smashing sword and spear against brazen shield. This may have been the largest fleet ever to sail the Mediterranean. Silence! Speed on. Fell like fog. Suddenly, on. 100 balls of fire leapt up from the Gabiniani decks and bore down upon Foxidas and his stricken crew! Speed on. With his springs from the fog, it is like a nightmare. Pa! So let their tricks trouble you, the master. It's a ruse to shake our nerves. They gain nothing by it. And the flames! Their fire is intense! Foxidas! This weapon could really help our cause. I might know someone who knows someone. We could make it happen. Yes. Keep inside the range of the catapults! And the day is ours! Let us finish this! Need more speed! More speed! Yeah. Off the pace, brothers! And more on. speed, Shadow! Speed ah. off! Look out! More speed! Yeah. Slackers! 
We win or we die! Ah, la, la. Prepare to evade! Aya! The Mastis! Slack us all, listen to me! Scribes will break their pens! Writing of this day! On this blood smear, those. I tell you, I weep just to tell of it! And they say, if you whisper a prayer into a wave or a fold of the sea, you can hear their war cry answer back, Alala! Alala! And that is how it happened, to a word. What a tale. The goddess name was Aya, and a goddess she truly is. That may be the only honest part of the story. What is truth? All is permitted in the realm of greatness. One must believe in the act of creation, or else they will join the Gabiniani. You are a fine storyteller, Seni. Though, I cannot tell if you are playing a game with me, or telling a story. They are one and the same, my friend. Married to each other, like the oceans and the rain. Alala! You see it now! Hyena. 
must first speak to Mered, Volodoris' contact. He is a merchant somewhere in this marketplace. Welcome to Mered's wares, traveler. Well, what do you think? Junk. Be off then. Ah, uh, I haven't finished. Are you blind? I've nothing left to show you. But you've much to tell me about the hyena. Ah, funny. As it turns out, that happens to be the most expensive thing I'm offering. <laughs> funny indeed. Delivery upon payment. Do you have enough to barter with me? Yeah. Your absurd fee. Now what can you tell me? The hyena is not her real name. <laughs> easy, easy. A poor attempt at humor, I'm afraid. Where can I find her? Her name is Khaliset. A favor. Some customers of mine took my horse after a dispute. Their camp lies in a quarry just south of here. Take my man, retrieve my horse, and I'll give you what you came for. Ah, how you found yourself in Apollodorus' company escapes me. You'll get it for me. If Apollodorus wants my continued service. Give my men a hand. They'll know exactly what to look for. It'll be easy. Red's horse. He neglected to tell me his customers were bandits. Those 
just do something stupid with my mount. You're back! Well, look at this! You failed to mention it was in the possession of bandits. Slipped my mind. Hmm. Good. Stronger than mine. I thought you said it was yours. <laughs> yes, yes, of course it is. You've done good by me, my friend. Then you'll deliver as promised. My word is my word. But I have one more thing to ask of you. Ah, done with your games. All right. The hyena lives in a cavern just over those hills. Day and night she roams the desert collecting silica. Precious teardrops of the gods. What has happened to those who have interfered is best left unsaid. If I find you've led me on another futile chase, it won't be my words that hit your ears. A thousand promises. I have no reason to defy you. Don't die out there! <laughs> What are you waiting for? You want to find the hyena, don't you? This is the hyena's lair. No sign of Khaliset, though. Mered was telling the truth. I need to figure out where she went. Thank you, Magi. The hyena, where is she? I do not know. I am... I'm the only one left. She took the others away hours ago. Took them where? She kills them. I know it. She... She... Her hands. Oh, gods. Her hands are so bloody. Peace, friend. You are free. I will deal with Haliset. Where is Halisa taking captives? And why? Khufu's tomb. She has detailed every crevice. Ah, she has not finished. That is where I will find her. I will head to the pyramids.
Hyenas. Khalistat must be inside. Her. A Magi who has treaded many dunes to find you. Hide if you must, Hyena. But this tomb will not protect you. I demand that you stop here. Turn back now and I will excuse this intrusion. Siwa was an intrusion. Man, I am Iset, possessor of magic. The gods live here, not you. What sort of mischief is she entertaining? <clears throat> be gone! Osiris cannot be disturbed. This trap door. What is it protecting? Heathen! The wakeful one is asleep! Go no further, or I will drench these errors. What is this place? Tomb beneath a tomb. <laughs> Is this where you hide, hyena? What gruesome madness happened here? A dark place with a window to the gods. What kind of ritual is she performing? Still warm. And the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. Hmm. Alisa drew these symbols here. Was she trying to figure out their meaning? Offerings to Osiris, protector of the dead. This sarcophagus is decorated with goddesses of the mother. Strange symbols are marked all over it. I think I know what Dark Deeds Haliset was after here. Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used a knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. Once she knew the symbols, she carved them here and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Alicet must be trying to bring someone back to life. But just who is buried down here? Child. My child! You lost your child. I haven't. Her rest is temporary. You have intervened on her reawakening. And yet you aligned yourself to the Order. Ravage this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother. to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb.
measure of magic can bring our children back. Let's keep my mouth closed. I walk among the dead now. A just end. You defiled the dead and enabled the people who killed my son. All on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? The symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris! Please grant me reunion! She walks alone in the field of reeds. Am I to remain in the Duat forever? I just want my daughter back! Please! Daughter in the afterlife, I said. And the Lord of the Duarte. 